2016, AME estimates that around 26% of Indonesian thermal coal exports are being produced at a loss. This equates to around 63 million tonnes of production from 17 mines across the country. A further 26% of export thermal coal is considered only marginally profitable, equating to 65 million tonnes from 10 mines. In comparison, 32% of global ec thermal export production is unprofitable. Of the Indonesian mines producing more than 1 million tonnes for export in 2016, Toba Barra's PT Tresenta Mineral Utama Complex and Sakari Resources' Jembayan Mine are amongst the worst performers, operating at negative cash margins of around 15 US dollars per tonne and 10 US dollars per tonne respectively. The weak thermal coal market has resulted in falling strip ratios as the major Indonesian miners either target shallower deposits or halt extraction of deeper seams at multi-seam operations. This can be seen in the decline in the average strip ratios at major Indonesian mines from 8.7 to 1 in 2011 to 6.1 to 1 in 2016. These changes have seen a shift in the economic cutoff point for these mines. Lignite production and exports have declined since mid-2015 due to low demand. Major mines producing export thermal coal with a calorific value under 4400 kcal per kilogram are struggling. Until 2016, few larger Indonesian mines had closed due to the mines having lower on-site costs and a closer proximity to major customers for export thermal coal. Banpu's 2 million tonne Kisaden Tandung Mayang mine closed in late 2015 with an FOB cost of about 65 US dollars per tonne due to a 12 to 1 strip ratio. In contrast, Australia has had 18 mines close, removing 12 million tonnes of export thermal coal production from the market since 2012 about 55% due to unprofitability and 45% due to exhaustion of reserves. In the US, 16 operations closed, representing 6 million tonnes of export thermal coal due to higher mining costs and a long transport distance to port. <laughs>